regardless of what you know, uh, you can be the, the smartest, most intelligent technical coach in ground reaction force or biomechanics. At the end of the day, it's all relative to the person who's receiving the information. So my philosophy within that would be that through all the study that I've done over the years, I've geeked out of every part of the golf swing you can imagine. Uh, you certainly craft your own ideas of preferences of what you like to see within the golf swing, within the players that you're working on, but it has to be so adaptable to the person in front of you because not everyone is looking for, you can't make an assumptions around what someone wants because it is quite complicated. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, just going back to one of your previous points about what's inherent among all golfers is the, you know, the, the sort of preference for the feel over the real, isn't there? I mean, it's whether it's what they feel is going well in their game or what they feel is bad about their game or what, what needs improving, what they feel their swing looks like as opposed to actually what it does. It's never been easier to make sure that you're keeping yourself accountable as a player, but that is back to the coach to make sure that communication thread is is established as well. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, we 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 find this a lot. I mean, to one of the points you made there that time and time again, we find players' um, assumptions about their own game being overturned by the data, you know, by actually being able to to see that that longer period, like you say, and to blend rounds, practice rounds, tournament rounds, practice, etc. You actually get that real picture of your sort of current DNA, if you like, as a golfer, rather rather than your uh, assumptions or your emotion about it. Yeah. Yeah. And we also, uh, a big part of my coaching is it, it, it's more about coaching the player behind the data and the swing. And yeah. we each have an identity around what we do as a player. Now, if you are in a position where, let's say that right now, I've spent my whole life uh, since I stopped playing, I'm working on my driving. My driving might be way better than I think it is. But the only way I actually know that is to track and measure that through statistics because we just have this identity that sometimes is a lot harder to shift than what the facts would actually say. Uh, but once again, that's back on the coach because you've got to get this holistic understanding of, of the player what they want to achieve, where they're at, their motivations, their frustrations, so you can craft the information in such a way to them that then begins to open their eyes to what is possible rather than we're reactive. Okay, I'm doing this because of this, rather than, okay, now we're heading in the right direction of what you want to achieve.